Cool. So I'll say where we're from and then you give production levels. Is that all right? Hi, my name is Dylan Provence. I'm Sean Provence. We're from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We're the Real Estate Brothers. 2014, we wrote 72 transactions for $47 million. Sean and I are very lucky because we're actually fairly entrepreneurial in sales. So we were able to just sort of survive by luck and by just sort of being likable and nice. We had a decent business that wasn't growing. We did a lot of door knocking originally, but what we found was with bad weather, plus you have to drive to door knock, it was just too much of a wild card. If we were to grow the business, we needed to add people to our database. And if we were gonna do that, we needed a systematic way that we knew we could achieve results that were predictable. So we just kind of started cold calling. About three hours a day, and we found that the results were phenomenal. Come take a look where we've been this whole time. You can literally do it from your it's kitchen. It's just more time effective. Yeah. If you're cheap like we are, you don't want to spend a ton of money on the web or in print. The telephone lines, you pay a monthly bill and you can call all you want. Why don't you come in here, I'll show you the cold calling here. We've got a map where we've broken the entire city into zones. We like to target areas where we have buyers. It's been scrubbed to the do not call list and it still represents over a quarter million phone numbers. All of our desks have three monitors. We have Mojo in the middle, we have our scripts on the right, and then on the left... Do some research on the house they're calling for, stuff like that. Cold calling is like adding jet fuel to your car or something. Like it just, it pumps your business up. We went from making... What was our first year? Like 70k? And then this year together we did a million one, so... This is Sean calling from the Real Estate Brothers. You know what, I'm so sorry to bug you today, but I just noticed that you live... You have to treat cold calling as though it's an appointment. If you don't prioritize it, things will always find their way in and block you from being able to do it. It's the most important thing you can do for your business. Absolutely most important, and you have to quantify it as well. The bold 100 contacts a week is a really, really cool way... To, to set a bar. To set a bar and get started and stick to it, whatever your decision is. Yeah, I was just wondering, has anything changed in your plans? Are you still thinking this break to get it on the market? You can't think... Today was a bad cold calling day because today doesn't matter. What matters is what you accomplish in a year. And if you just keep adding people to your database and systematically follow up with them and take care of the people who you work for, you'll do great. You're not always going to have great success every day, but it's by doing it every day that you have great success. We're going to be in the neighborhood for the next two weeks giving free evaluations. You know what I'd love to do? I'll say too that one thing that we were afraid of, and I think everyone is, is just the rejection side of things. People being mean to you on the phone and rude. We have this saying with our team that you're either part of our future or part of our past and either way it's fine. The people who are rude to us are obviously not going to be part of our future. Have a chuckle about it. Like honestly when someone cusses at me or something I just laugh because it's funny. Hey, do you think that it might make sense for us to book something tentatively for the weekend? The more time you spend not on the phone you're losing money because that three hours of my day is my 20% where I make my money. Don't get ready to start thinking about how you're going to eventually do something. Just do it. Like just, just do get it. done. Stop watching this video get off your butt and go start dialing numbers and talking to people. Just get on the phone. Yeah, and if you hate money, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think.